Tom. Hi. And, and you created that cane. Oh, yes. Uh, well, I didn't do... This is a warthog's tusk from Africa, and I didn't carve that. Uh, that was given to me, but I do the silver work, and I got the stick out the woods. And, uh, and there's a piece of jade on top. And I just did it. I had a stroke about a year and a half ago. I did. I needed a cane. I thought, well, hell, if I'm going to have to use a cane, I want a really nice one. So Beautiful. I made it. Thank you, Tom. And, That's really nice. Well, thanks. And you have a shop just down the street. No, I'm in a, a gallery. Oh, I, I sell some of my work in there. Uh, things like... Uh, I'm not real particular. I don't like making jewelry so much anymore. It's very limited. But I do like little, pardon me, sculptural things. Uh, I make tea infusers that are nature motifs, like orchids that clip to the side of your mug, and the, the little uh, tea loose leaf tea fits in the the uh, the bottom part of the orchid. You know, it's like a little cup. Wow. And, and so is it lost wax and tricycle casting? No, casting everything I make is done by fabrication. Okay. So I start out with a flat sheet of silver or silver wire and I just, I make every piece and, and then solder them together with an open flame torch. And it's kind of like building a house of cards. Nice. Uh, here's a robot I did. My God. And it stands, it had about eight and a half ounces of silver in it. Wow, he's beautiful. And uh, wow. this is for my friend Max Grover, who is an artist also. Wow. And uh, You do you, really remarkable things. Thank you. If you look close, there's the chest cavity opens and there's a heart in there. And uh, Max had an operation on his heart. So yeah, he insisted that I put incision marks on the heart. And then uh, we went to the back and I gave him a butt. And then if you look very close between the cheeks, there's a small exhaust pipe there. <laughs> anyway. Oh, very nice. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, and now how do people get a hold of you? I do bugs as well. Oh, I love the That's bugs. That's a cray mantis. Yeah. They're so unique. Your artistry is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. I've had a lot of fun over the years. Yeah. And how come you picked a praying mantis? Well, I used to collect bugs when I was a kid. I was telling you about the orchids. Yeah. So this is uh, called T for Two, and it's two yeah. orchids on a uh, glorified grip dish, and they pluck off the limbs and they become tea infusers. And then you can hang them back up on the this, this stand there. Uh, let's see, there's a, a box. And if you turn the little knob, uh, it opens up and inside is a large crystal. And when the light travels down through this carnelian stone, which is translucent, it lights the crystal up and the whole thing gets really dark and orange in there. It's kind of fun. Your artwork is beautiful, Tom. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Now, how do people find it? Where's the studio, your art gallery? Uh, I have a place in Paulsbo called, well, it's not my place, it's another gallery. It's called Liberty Bay Gallery. And then in town here, the uh, Max Grover Gallery, which is right across from the Rose Theater, present. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Well, thank you for being on my show. Well, thanks for having me. I'm very flattered. Thank you. Oh, I'm very pleased to. Thank you very much.